It was June 17, 2023. The crowd's energy was electric as they packed into the gritty warehouse venue in Queens, buzzing with excitement about the night's big event. This was the latest showcase from Chrome 23, the new battle rap league launched by hip-hop icon Remy Ma. Remy had spared no expense for Chrome 23's second event, featuring some of the fiercest female MCs in the game. Veterans like 40 Bars and Yoshi G were set to clash. The lineup was fire and expectations were high. Backstage, Remy was a blur of activity, yelling orders and ensuring everything would run smoothly. This was her big chance to establish Chrome 23 as a major league in the culture. Failure was not an option. As she reviewed the stage setup, Remy felt a presence behind her. She turned to see renowned battle rapper Easy the Block Captain dressed to impress in a green Chrome 23 sweatsuit. His trademark beard was neatly trimmed and he looked immaculate, she thought. Easy, you made it, Remy said, greeting him with an enthusiastic hug. Easy was one of the hottest rappers out, and Remy had recently signed him to her management company. His presence tonight added more hype to the event. You know I had to support, Easy replied with a dazzling grin. This is going to be crazy tonight. Remy took in his handsome appearance and confidence. Being around Easy gave her a thrill she hadn't felt in a long time. Her marriage to fellow rapper Papoose had struggled lately. Their once fiery passion now cooled to a simmer. But maybe tonight could reignite that spark. The battles kicked off and exceeded the hype. The crowd roared as 40 Bars and Yoshi G traded wicked punchlines, their personal feud fueling the fire. Backstage, Easy cheered on the rappers with Remy. Their chemistry was undeniable. Laughing, whispering, subtly touching. Remy found excuses to be near him, intoxicated by his attention but doubt crept in. She was a married woman after all. This was dangerous territory. During intermission, Remy greeted a surprise guest, her husband, Papoose. He supported her events, but was supposed to be traveling tonight for his new position at TuneCore. Yet here he was. Maybe he was trying to make an effort, Remy thought. Their marriage had grown distant, only seeing each other in passing lately. His presence tonight rekindled a tiny flame of hope within her. But as Papoose glanced at Easy across the room, his jaw tightened. He'd heard the rumors about Easy and Remy's close friendship, and as he looked at Easy, he saw a younger, more charismatic version of himself. Seeing them together made Papoose's blood boil. Remy was moving quickly to lead Papoose to his seat, hoping to avoid any drama. She knew her husband hated Easy, but she managed him, and they had a contract to fulfill. It was time the main event was starting. 40 Bars versus Yoshi G in a grudge match. This battle had potential to be a classic. 40 Bars and Yoshi G were at each other's throats immediately, the crowd hanging on every word. In the final round, 40 went for the jugular, a line about Yoshi's parenting skills. This was a soft spot for Yoshi. Yoshi saw red. She grabbed a water bottle and beamed 40 right in the face. All hell broke loose as their security stepped in to contain the erupting into chaos. Security finally gained control and escorted Yoshi to a room in the back of the warehouse. She was still irate as Remy tried calming her, worried she'd attack 40 again. Easy stood closely behind Remy, a little too close. Suddenly, Papoose burst into the room and made a beeline for Easy. I yo, Easy, I saw that text. What's up now, boy? Papoose yelled, shoving Easy. Before Easy could react, Papoose clocked him square in the jaw, releasing weeks of boiling resentment. I'll kill you, he screamed as Easy begged for mercy. Horrified, Remy pleaded with Papoose to stop grabbing his arm as he swung at Easy, but Papoose shoved her aside, hell bent on inflicting maximum damage. Remy screamed for security as Papoose fired punishing blows to Easy's face and body. Finally, two huge security guards burst into the room and dragged the enraged Papoose away. Easy lay curled up on the floor with a small amount of blood dripping from his mouth where his braces had cut into the flesh. His eye felt bruised, but he needed to check it in the car. Remy rushed to help Easy up, looking over at Yoshi, who stood frozen in shock. Remy shot her a desperate pleading glance. Yoshi nodded grimly back, understanding Remy needed her silence. I didn't see anything, Rim, she stated coldly before walking out. With security guards on either side holding his arms, Papoose yelled threats and insults back at Easy as Remy walked him down the hall. Easy could barely stand, shattered and in agony. But he knew his career and reputation now hung in the balance. As Papoose was escorted out of the venue by security, the crowd that had gathered backstage started buzzing about what just happened. Easy snuck out a back entrance of the venue, avoiding running into any fans. He speed walked to his car, keeping his head down. Once safely inside with the doors locked, Easy slowly rotated the cosmetic mirror in the sun visor down. 
Though the lighting was dim, he could make out the damage, a swollen lump under his right eye and a cut on his lip where Papoose's class ring must have connected. It could have been much worse, but the wounds were still obvious enough to raise questions. Easy gingerly touched around his cheek and eye, wincing at the throbbing soreness. He could feel his eye threatening to swell shut. There was no way he could do press like this. Popping the glove box, Easy rifled through napkins and receipts looking for something to help him. He found nothing and decided to leave the event. When he started his car, his anxiety rose about how to possibly keep this quiet. But he knew Remy would come up with a plan. She had to, for both their sakes. Inside, people pulled out their phones, tweeting and posting on Instagram about the apparent fight between Papoose and Easy. With many postings saying outright, Papoose just knocked out Easy. The news spread through the battle rap world like wildfire. By the time Papoose left the building, social media was already exploding with speculation about what went down behind the scenes. Rumors swirled about what sparked Papoose's violent assault on Easy. Many speculated it was over Remy, that there was more than just business between her and Easy. Remy immediately went into damage control mode. She denied anything occurred, stating that people were confused and uninformed. But the gossip persisted with Posey and the girls at Black Compass Media trying their best to dissect the situation from every angle. Despite Remy's efforts, the scandal followed her and Papoose to the BET Awards the next week. On the red carpet, they put on loving smiles for the cameras, determined to show their marriage was rock solid. But during the show, they had an encounter with Hip Hop Is Real's media personality Knowledge the God. He brazenly questioned Papoose about the easy altercation. A fuming Papoose let him ask his question before warning him that anything who disrespects him or his wife would get knocked out too. Remy stood there shocked before she quickly whisked him away. Later, Knowledge posted a trailer of the walk-off ready to set the battle rap culture on fire with speculation about what really happened between Papoose and Easy. But after getting a few calls from Remy's team, Knowledge scrapped the video. He frustratingly told his followers there were politics at play, preventing him from spilling the tea. Behind the scenes, Remy and Papoose's relationship was rapidly deteriorating. Remy blamed her husband for jeopardizing her business dealings with Easy, her rising star client, and Papoose's jealousy still simmered. Certain Remy was protecting Easy for improper reasons, no matter how much she denied it. Meanwhile, Easy laid low, recovering from his injuries. His manager, Remy, cautioned him not to address the situation publicly yet. She needed time to do damage control and was afraid Easy firing back could make things worse. But the video bloggers in battle rap world were buzzing about Easy's disappearance. Finally, he could stay silent no longer. Easy went into full bully mode and tweeted to Papoose, Tell the world the truth before I do. Papoose would not reply. Instead, he tweeted Tay Rock, one of Easy's rivals. The nonstop scandal had Remy dreading an upcoming public appearance at a high-profile Vegas boxing match. She knew she had to confront her husband before it completely destroyed what they had worked so hard to build. At first, Papoose stubbornly refused to talk, but Remy broke through his defenses, stressing her devotion and willingness to work through everything. All night, they unpacked their issues, jealousy, neglect, distrust. Exhausted but cleansed, they reaffirmed their commitment to each other. They were the avatar for black love and they reprofessed their devotion and agreed to work through the chaos together. They put on a united front at the Vegas fight. But privately, much healing was still needed between them. Meanwhile, Easy seethed over the damage to his career. But with Remy and Papoose silencing the story, he felt powerless. The bloody truth of what happened backstage would have to remain buried, at least for now. Easy had no choice but to try and move forward, even knowing the gossipers would continue to speculate. He would finally came out and tell the world that absolutely nothing had happened that night. With many asking the question, if nothing happened, what were you telling Papoose to tell the world about then? A question that would go unanswered. Easy's vague denials did little to quell the swirling speculation. Video bloggers continued dissecting his every word, convinced more had happened behind the scenes than Easy let on. As the gossip persisted, it threatened to derail Chrome 23's momentum. Remy worked urgently behind the scenes trying to do damage control for the league and Easy's career. She had an upcoming Chrome 23 event called I Do What I Want that she refused to cancel. The card featured battle rapper Geechee Gotti, known for being brazenly disrespectful without fear of consequences. Geechee had already been in touch with people from the last event who disliked Easy. 
Remy worried he would use the battle stage to publicly roast Easy about the rumors. She needed to silence the gossip before it completely ruined her client's reputation. On the advice of her management team, Remy required all battlers to sign non-disclosure agreements for any future Chrome 23 events. Anyone violating the NDA would be banned from working with her company again. Easy protested the NDAs at first, feeling it made him look guilty. But Remy insisted it was necessary for the league to move forward. Reluctantly, Easy agreed for the sake of their business interests. The NDAs effectively muted public discussion of Easy's backstage altercation. Geechee and others were prohibited from leaking details or mocking what transpired. Over time, the gossip died down and the focus returned to the actual battles. Remy regained control of her league's narrative and credibility. The NDAs allowed her, Easy, and Papoose to distance themselves from the tawdry rumors. Their images rebounded, even if whispers still remained. For better or worse, silence had allowed everyone to press forward. And so the bloody backstage brawl between Papoose and Easy remained shrouded in mystery. Though the restrictions of Remy's NDAs helped mute the scandal, questions still swirl about what sparked such violence that night. Easy continues rebuilding his career, though many feel his credibility took a hit. As for the truth of the clash, we may never fully know what happened in those chaotic moments. The only certainty is that battle raps in a world can be as cutthroat as the lyrics spat on stage. We appreciate you tuning into this episode of Quite Possibly, exploring battle rap's shadowy intrigues and controversies. Make sure to subscribe to the Algorithm Institute of Battle Rap for more hard-hitting breakdowns and theories from the mind of your host. Battle Rap Algorithm. This the Algorithm Institute of Battle Rap. They say they videos the best and that they all of that. The Battle Rap Algorithm. Yeah, I'm ballin' with them. Not like them other bloggers compromised by the system. No.